Hey everyone. Thank you again for hanging out with me. My name is Bella. Um, hello to my spirit sisters and to my friends. I just wanted to make a quick video, hopefully it'll be a quick video, about travel altars. Um, I haven't really seen or heard much about it being spoken about. Yes, there are some videos on YouTube, but um, I figured, um, you know, I am, I do tend to, you know, hang out here and there on some weekends at friends' homes. Um, and on, this is, of course, a travel altar for you if you have a planned vacation or you're staying at a hotel or an Airbnb or at a friend's home or family home, right? Or you're just going somewhere quickly at your partner's place for a couple of days, weekend, whatever your spiel is, right? So it will kind of depend on what you take sometimes, right? But however, I just want to make a good point in the beginning of all of this that technically you don't need to bring anything that you would normally have on your, if you do actually have a set up altar in your home, you you don't really need anything. Um, you could just sit wherever that you feel comfortable sitting at, at a space that you're staying at, whether it's indoors, outdoors, and meditate. And just think about what your thoughts, what you want to think for, for the day, what, you, what are your thoughts are, what do you want for the week? Like, you just think about it. And you do your own rituals or your prayers, and that's it. You know, you really don't need any particular items. However, um, yes, that sounds great. And sometimes I have done that because sometimes I'm just like out and about and, um, you know, maybe I don't come home that night or whatever, but I still want to have my practice, right? So, but for the times when I know that I'm have that I'm going away, that I'm scheduled to go somewhere, yada yada yada, work trip, family trip, um, I can still plan on thinking about what I want to bring. Um, not everything that you have, you're not gonna just swish your stuff off of your altar and put it in a bag. <laughs> That's not convenient. I like to minimize my things and all my things, even my 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 toiletries is tiny little things like I just want to travel with minimum stuff um, and the same goes for my altar um, but what may change up every now and then from like the things that I bring for my everyday daily witch rules is like you know what kind of deck if I even bring a deck if I feel like I need to bring a deck with me um, but let's get started about the little things that I typically bring with me to an alt um, as my travel altar when I do head out and about but so let me just share my thoughts and comment below you know um what what's your usual routine like when you go when you leave your home for a day or two and you still want to bring something with you right so let me know what are your thoughts do you anything that any idea that I have steal some of my ideas I don't care either so usually one of the things that I do my daughter is driven crazy with me <laughs> when I do these things, but it's like first thing I do is like I cleanse the area, cleanse the air. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I usually bring some. Um, I at home, you know, you have your bundle and you burn your bundle sage or whatever. But I'm not bringing all of that because sometimes when you're in a hotel, you really don't want to trigger a fire alarm, you know, um, and be kicked out. So you have to be mindful of the place that you're going to be staying at too, right? So. Either way, I'm not going to bring a bundle of sage or anything like that, right? I am just literally going to bring some incense sticks. And usually the ones that I take along with me is, um, you can bring any one that you want to. I bring one with sage and palo santo of a mix. And as soon as I get there, light it up quickly around each room or area in the place just so I could cleanse it from previous people that were staying by in there, you know, cleanse it from negative energy so that um, it could be clear for me, for my energy that I'm bringing in, whether it's I'm hyper, I'm excited, I'm tired, you know, I still want to clear the air. So that's one of the first things that I do. And I know I should really get one of those dainty little um, incense holders to use, but I hate those little things. But I really, really, this is my, I have like a, maybe like six of these. Um, incense hold because I like the width of it. I like that it's wood. Um, 
and it's solid so it can hold and drop anything, any mess that I have. So this will, these two usually come along with me on my little trips. Um, usually, oops, who's texting me? Put this on silent, so sorry. Usually when I, um, you know, when you have your altar or whatever, you have a tabletop or something like that, or you make your space or you create it. So I'm not going to be creating no table space or whatnot, but I will be using, I mean, just because I got this one new, so I'm going to be using this one now and it's red. Um, I just get a regular altar tablecloth, any cloth that you want to use as your tablecloth and call it your table altar, that, that's fine. Um, I could lay this down on top of um, a bed, the bed or whatever. I may not because I probably um, I plan on lighting a little tea kind of candle. So I don't want that on the bed just in case I shake. Um, but I will find a spot maybe on the floor of the hotel room that I'll be at. And I'll just lay this down. I'll lay down a, an altar cloth. Let me try to push this back a little bit. So just lay it down and then use this as my base and pretend that this is my table and, and I'm totally okay with that. So maybe, you know, I just scoot you down again. And this is going to be my altar table. my And this is what works for me, right? So with that too, you know, I usually like to have some of the talismans with me and particularly when you'll see me using a lot of paper. <laughs> so I like how carrying around this because it actually fits good into like my journals and it, and it folds flat right into my journal book. So that works fine for me. So this will be somewhere on my altar and my gym just have like a lack of space here. So I'm just going to be scooching stuff wherever. No particular order is just how it's going to be in my um place. So I usually have some type of pentacle, you know, I'll be cleansing it as well. Um, I did receive these and typically I would bring just these with me. And I got this in one of a sub, I think it was Sugar Music subscription box, probably in September, August, I'm not sure. But I received these little tiger eye um, disc. Um, and they have the symbols etched in on it, you know, the water symbol, the air symbol, the fire symbol, and the earth symbol. So whenever I get to a place, you know, I will, I have a compass on my cell phone, right? Most of us do in our smartphones. And I just open it up and I figure out which position that I'm sitting at is northeast, west, and south, right? So I'll position these as well in the location. Um, to my understanding, earth is supposed to be north. Air is east, fire is south, and water is west, determining, because I'm in the northern hemisphere. So that being said, I can use these and not have to use any other actual tea candle to show my fire. I don't have to have use a feather to show my air. You know, I don't have to technically use... Um, I can use this as like a crystal to just show like the earth. That's pretty much right. And I have, and I bought these little red cuppies that I can fill up with the tap water from the hotel and just use this as my water. So I can either use these, these four tigerized discs that I have, or I can just, you know, bring my small feather that I have, a small tea candle that I have, um, a little cup, these red Cup. You know, the big size version, I got this in a shot glasses cup. It's it's sturdy enough so I could travel with it. And a crystal of my choice. This one I have is amber. So those are op um, options that you can use. So I also, you know, I honor um, a deity of my own. And I'm, hold on one second. I'm going to have to pause for a sec. All right, I'm back. So one thing I did forget to bring here was um, a little bit of ritual salts. I had gotten this from, I think the Midnight Muses, smaller tier boxes, but um, it's perfect size that I just bring it along my way because, you know, salt provides protection. So I'll just open it up, lay out a little bit on the table when I'm ready, and that's it. So I do bring this with me as well. Um, for 
oh yeah, I was talking about deities. So deities, right? So like if you honor a deity, I just, I literally have a printout. I'm not bringing, um, even though I just literally received a mini statue of Clea, I'm not going to bring this because I don't want more weight. It's not too heavy either, but if I could use paper to honor her, I will, right? So I'm not going to be bringing that, but I will, I did do a printout you know, of uh, a simple prayer to so help me raise the simple prayer. I have a prayer for her and then like a simple picture because I want to have this up while I'm using, you know, doing my daily rituals. And that's it. This is really what I'm bringing. No other photo, no other paper, like, or, you know, statue or anything like that. Just simple. Simple, simple, simple. Oh. <laughs> How could I forget my little book of matches? I've had this so for so long. So just a small little book of matches. One, I mean, I'm not going, I can't have this on my um my carry-on, but it will be in my checked suitcase. So that will be going with my um the rest of this, the incense and the incense holder as well. Okay, so for me personally, when I am um, on my rich on my altar at home regardless I have pictures of my two children <laughs> my fur baby and my my daughter so I do put them on my altar and I will be bringing them with me as well to honor you know because I want my deity to protect them as well so I, I'm oh and I feel called to have them there with me so a little piece of something of them and since I am honoring my deity and I don't have real flowers, I will bring a sticker and I'll use that there. I'm telling you, very simple for my altar. This is probably the heaviest thing, <laughs> the biggest item. Um, I can use any pretty much ritual oil that I want to, but this is convenient. It's a roller, right? So I will be bringing this as a little bit of an oil to put on myself. I have nothing even to place on it. You know. And to just honor my deity, I, I'm I'm not going to be bringing honey or anything like that. Um, because just for travel purposes, I do have a rose, um, crystal. I'm sorry, rose quartz crystal apple, and a rose quartz kitty. Even though I have my little fur baby picture here, but I will have these things for her to honor. And since I will be away for Stara. Um, I won't be able to actually sit in front of my Sabbath altar and do anything really. So I will be bringing along um, a rose quartz Ostara egg that I had got to honor Ostara as well since I'll be away, right? And of course, a little bit of a chocolate my to put on the altar just for my deity. <laughs> it's small, it's simple, mini size, can't go wrong. And of course, um, besides the, just my journal, which will be in my backpack anyway, that'll be on my carry along. Um, I've actually kind of gotten fond of this deck that we just received too, this Unlocking the Secret Garden Oracle. I have another video of this doing a flip through. Um, I will be bringing this, oops, I will be bringing this deck and guidebook with me as well. Cause yeah, that's what I like so far. It's what I like using. So yeah that that and all i know it looks like a lot but i'll be putting everything inside of a ziploc and a large ziploc bag so that i can just drop it in my suitcase so yeah hopefully you learn a little tip or trick from this or you already knew hell if you know more and you can give me a little bit more tip and tricks let a, let a girl know drop some drop some information in the comment section for me i'll gladly appreciate it um, anything that I can make smaller, I will, except for like, uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll probably get one of those thinner ones, whatever, but I don't like them, <laughs> but I'm, I'm really gung ho on this and it's not really that big of a deal for me, but everything else is pretty small and light. Um, you know, this is just the way how I'm going to be going about it. I'm only going for a couple of days this time. So, and this is generally what I take. Um, if I'm going away for more than a week, I'll probably be bringing more than just one tea light candle um, and more incense sticks um, as well. But 
for the basic part, everything kind of remains the same for me. I may change out the altar cloth every now and then. I may change the deck depending on what I'm currently using. Just stuff like that. But yeah, so this, this was supposed to be a quick video. I hope it was. <laughs> Might have been a little bit longer than I would anticipate it. But um, hopefully this helps you, all right? And your, and your next trip, your little weekend getaway, week trip, month trip, whatever. Enjoy and have fun on your trip. That's the most important part, right? Relax and have some fun. Do a little bit of shopping too, right? And um, so, yeah, that should wrap up this video for now. Um, please comment below and let me know what your thoughts are as well. Enjoy the rest of your day and blessed be. Bye, guys.